you how we can send response from a Microsoft form to multiple mail IDs or the shared mailbox. So for reference, I have created a sample Microsoft form with three fields. As you can see here, you can add as many you want. So let's start it by creating the workflow for it. What you have to do is simply click on create. After clicking on create, come here and select automated cloud flow. Select or give name to your flow. Currently I'm giving session survey and you need to select trigger and click on create. As you can see here, uh, it is asking for the form ID. You need to click here and select which form you are looking to take response from. So let's say I'm taking response from session survey. And the next action you need to add is get response. So here is the get response. Again, you need to select the form ID and the response ID. Response ID is available in the dynamic content. You can select it from here. Now we need to add another action. So um, let me show you first how we can send mail IDs to multiple mail. So send email is the correct choice here. Select it and you can pass in as many mail IDs you want. You can make it dynamic as well like you know you can store your mail IDs in a string type variable and you can pass that variable here. So that is purely uh, depends on your requirement if you are iterating any array or you, you have a collection of multiple mail IDs then you can append them in a variable and you can pass that variable string type variable basically here but for now I'm hard coding it so let's say I want to send mail to myself and to demonstrate you you know I have created few test users as well so uh, I will show you how we are going to use them let's complete these fields first survey response from and the name of person you can select name of person from dynamic content now what information you would like to share so uh, I would like to share the session name with session and session name after providing the session name rate the content so you can select it from here simply click on this show advanced options and you will have uh, fields here for CC and BCC so let's say I have created test users for you I'm passing in this test user 2 you can append attachments as well as many attachments you want and you can define the reply to if this is the case of the sh uh, shared mailbox so let me save it now test it I'm executing it manually to test it Now our workflow is waiting for the response. Let's move here and provide some response. Provide the name. So name is Raj Parihar. Which session you attended? SharePoint Online. Read the content of session. Yep, it was great. can see here at the response to Raj Parihar CC uh, 
uh, this is the test user session name SharePoint online read the content five so this is how you can send mails to multiple mail ID if you want to add more users you can do it like this test user 2 and you can hit on save it will work perfectly now uh, let's say if the requirement is to send email to shared mailbox so to do this we need to add different action let me show you send email to shared this is the action send an email from a shared mailbox if uh, if you have address of any shared mailbox or you are tagged to any shared mailbox you can pass in the mail id of that shared shared mailbox and i don't have any shared mailbox so i cannot show you demo for this but uh, you can pass in the mail id of your shared mailbox and home you want to target or send this notification and again these fields are as similar as our previous so this is how you can achieve this task uh, please subscribe if you if you are struggling with any particular issue or query please feel free to comment below i will record a session for you on that surely and will try to help you thank you so much for watching.